throughout the Dakota's annual conference, there are ministries of justice taking place every day. They are occurring in local churches and conference agencies. They are helping people to find their voice and to speak out about their concerns and the ills that plague their communities. They are helping people move beyond dependency and despair. These ministries are helping people to organize, to gain respect, dignity, and fair treatment. They are helping people to overcome fear and hatred, prejudice and racism, discrimination and exclusion, violence and greed. They are helping people to confront those who have been denied their rights, refuse to recognize their worth, or unfairly burden them. These ministries of justice are seeking to transform our world so that it more closely resembles the reign of God highlighted in the teaching and example of Jesus and the prophets. The Peace and Justice Focus Team of the Missional Impact Link of the Dakota's Annual Conference seeks to lift up and celebrate these ministries of justice taking place throughout our conference through the Streams of Justice Annual Award. The award consists of a tabletop fountain and nameplate, a cash amount of $500 for the use of the justice ministry selected, and a copy of, copy of the Poverty and Justice Bible with relevant passages highlighted in origin from Orange from the American Bible Society. This year's recipient of the Streams of Justice Award is West Fargo Flame of Faith United Methodist Church. Please come up. Neurodiversity is the idea that it's normal and acceptable for people to have brains that function differently from one another. Rather than thinking something is wrong or problematic when some people don't operate similarly to others, neurodiversity embraces all differences. The concept of neurodiversity recognizes that brain function and behavioral traits are simply indicators of the human population's diversity. The education team and worshiping community at Flame of Faith United Methodist Church in West Fargo have worked to intentionally create safe and welcoming space for neurodiversity in their community. They researched and asked questions and implemented a plan for people of all ages to be welcome in their neurodiversity. They have visual worship cards, a variety of sensory tools available for use and have set aside a quiet room for calming. They have also sought to resource others and continue the conversations around making a space for all by holding a neurodiversity and faith event. Flame of Faith UMC has also been certified as an autism-friendly community partner through the North Dakota Autism Center. The congregation hopes to continue to build its resources and partnership by doing outreach and holding more awareness events. Flame of Faith is seeing, engaging, and loving a segment of our population that often gets left behind and or left out by making a safe place for all to experience God's love. In order to honor this important work, we are excited to present West Fargo Flame of Faith United Methodist Church with the Dakota's Conference Streams of Justice Award. Thank you uh, for honoring our ministry, uh, even as it continues to grow and to change us. Uh, this last year, uh, one of the best things that has happened is that some of our uh, young adults who are uh, neurodivergent have found a place uh, joining back into the church uh, helping with Sunday school, uh, we had a D and D night on Dungeons and Dragons night that we got to keep going on, and uh, we're really excited. We're uh, 
starting a partnership this, uh, this summer and fall with our local uh, CHAD organization, and I cannot remember what the acronym means, but it is a uh, ADHD advocacy organization, and we're gonna work with them on uh, helping families of uh, kids with ADHD, but also in uh, supporting the ministry of of their work uh, to adults with ADHD as well. And so uh, mostly, I wanna encourage you all um, to learn about uh, both yourselves and about others and how uh, brains are just another part of God's incredible diversity. And uh, sometimes we preachers really love, okay, let me rephrase that. I, as a preacher, uh, really love poetry. Turns out my uh, nine-year-old ADHD kids don't like poetry. <laughs> and so I've had to learn to change how I preach. Uh, we just did a series on science in worship and how that uh, connects to God's story. And it has been an incredible journey for us. So I would encourage you all to learn and to, to know those differences as well. Thank you again. Do you two want to say anything? No. Yeah. <laughs>